All right, well, hello. It is Friday, March 8th, and it is a little afternoon. Um, I've got the table all set up to talk about the morning sale, and I've got my packages ready by the front door to uh, talk about them. Now, really good news on the package front. If you've been following for the past few weeks or so since I started mentioning how many packages I have in my holding area, you'll know I was hovering between like 8, 9, 10, 16. Um, it's fluctuated a lot, but it's kind of been in that range. Well, I am happy to say that I have two packages right now in my holding area so thank you everyone so much for your payments. Um, one of the packages I know um, about the payment that's coming on that one. The other one, I'm not worried worried about on that. So um, so yeah, I am in feeling in much better shape and ready to start off the weekend with some more packing and invoicing and filling up that holding area. So that is going to be awesome. Um, but I'm going to flip the camera around since it is noon and <laughs> Joe, Joe is dying. Here we go. Hello, Joe. Hi. Say hi. Say hi, Joe. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Joe. <laughs> uh, so we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? Let me make sure there's not another one there. Yep, seven packages heading out today, which is awesome. And again, just two packages in my... So thank you very much, everyone. Um, I am going to meet you guys back, yep, at the table over there. And we are going to talk about the morning sale. All right, so we are at the table uh, for the morning sale, I brought 57 items with me and I sold 49. So thank you guys so much for all of the wonderful sales. Uh, I have just eight items still available. So let's go ahead and talk about those eight items around here. All right, I have some rings. Uh, this lovely ring, it's a really cool design, kind of reminds me if you had a, like a feather fan or something, kind of reminds me of that. Uh, that one is a size seven and uh, that silver tone ring is $1. This one with the little blue bead in there, kind of almost like a little crown, uh, that one is a size six and a quarter. And it is $1. Uh, this is a faux turquoise ring. Faux turquoise. And it is a size five and a quarter. So it is small, five and a quarter. That one is $3. And then the red one down here, this is also a faux stone size six so size six on the red one and that one is three dollars and then this really pretty white one like frosted with a white swirl in it that one is also a five and a quarter and that one is three dollars and then this really pretty one this one is actual stone stone chips stone chips in that one and you can see they're kind of a sparkly gold uh let's see this ring is oh i can never find it on my sheet why can't i find it on my sheet oh here it is uh this one is a size seven and a half and it is three dollars okay then i have a cookbook this has almost a hundred pages in it. Kansas City barbecue, quick Cajun dinners, Maine seafood, berry cheesecake. And so yeah, lots and lots of pictures of yummy food. Again, almost a hundred pages 
of food and that cookbook is just two dollars two dollars for the hometown cooking and then i have a wedding picture um, this one is so cute it is a Japanese couple from Seattle. And I'm guessing he must have been a really big, like, Elvis or early rock and roll fan. Because, um, yeah, he just, he just has that kind of look, doesn't he? Um, she is wearing an absolutely beautiful gown. And this photo is an 8 by 10 And uh, that one is $4. $4 for the wonderful Japanese couple 8 by 10 All right, so those are the eight items that are still available. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the 49 items that I sold. Um, one of the lots was some sheet music. This one has a Phantom of the Opera, Send in the Clowns, and some other Broadway hits. Uh, let's see, a Lebanese cookbook and a Hot Cocoa cookbook, Minnie Mouse and Daisy book, a Disney uh, My First Alphabet book with a bunch of baby Disney characters. Oh, they are so cute. Uh, this is a book from the 30s, and it is about a battle from the Revolutionary War. And I know nothing about this. It's called The Rabble in Arms marched and fought between or during 1775 and 1777, 1776, up in New England. And uh, yeah, a very interesting book. And then this one from 1929, it looks almost in brand new condition. It's a gorgeous book. And it is the um, Novels, Tales, and Plays of John Galsworthy. Um, so yeah, so two really interesting books. Um, and then I had three lots of sheet music. Um, these are really good if you are a crafter because they're not the fancy sheet music. They're, you know, the sheet music that choruses would have used. Uh, but this one does have some Disney music. Um, a Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. It's got that Disney, um, although that one's not complete. And Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. Um, so yeah, so uh, that was three really nice groupings. Uh, I had some pictures. So this lovely lady... Um, a lot of these, these are from like the teens, the 19 teens. So we've got her. Um, I sold uh, this one of the same, the same fella, two different pictures. That was a lot. Uh, then this one, a family. The, the parents definitely look the same. The kids, I don't know, she, she looks like, but I don't know. So maybe they had another kid in there um, also. So that was sold as a lot of two. Um, then this little girl, two pictures of her. And then a wedding picture. And then I had some travel brochures also. Um, Yosemite. Utah National Park, Southern California, the Grand Canyon, Black Hills, Badlands, Mount Rushmore, Yellowstone, and then Seattle, um, Everett, and um, kind of the Pacific Northwest. And then I had some jewelry. Let's go ahead and take ooh, a look at the rings. Let's see. Oh, here we go. I had a Clada ring, 
So that's the Irish one with the heart, the crown um, being held by the hands. Um, this pretty black one or with the black center. This one is a pair of elephants. Uh, this one is like a little heart with a clear center. And then this one, kind of like a, an eagle or maybe even a thunderbird. Uh, some earrings. We've got the blue enamel hearts. Um, these pretty ones, they're very iridescent and they pick up a lot of different colors. Those pretty blue ones, another pair of blue and little um, clear rhinestones in the hearts or in teardrops and then purple, uh, some of the rings sold. So there's the beige one, that pretty black one, black with the real stones and then the blue real stones. Um, this one was so hard to show because it is so dark. Let me see, but it does have some light, light pieces in there that it will pick up. And then this one, I'm not sure if that's abalone in there or not, but it does, it does kind of look like it. Unfortunately, the resin that it's in lights up. I did try putting the black light on there to see if it lit up, but the whole thing lit up because the resin is also um, black light activated. Uh, some bracelets. This is a silver tone with alternating um, rhinestones on it. Um, clear and green. That pretty rose gold one. Uh, the pink beads that have a lovely enamel heart. Um, and then these are real stone. And then the round ones also. This one, I think that is abalone on that style necklace. This beautiful one, oh, that is so gorgeous. Uh, the three strand black bead, um, a geode, a blue a geode. And then this one is a sterling, sterling rose gold. Um, but that one also has blue and green. That is gorgeous. Um, all right, so those are the items, the 49 items that sold. I'm going to flip. And yeah, thank you everyone so much for coming and hanging out with me today. Um, next steps for me. Um, the postage is done for now. Um, and um, I'm going to clear off the table, get everything organized, keep it all organized as I go upstairs with my new organizing system. Yep, I'm going to keep everything all nice and organized that way. I do have my items over here all ready for the sale tonight. So I'm going to move those over and get that all set up. Um, I need to get caught up on my comments tonight. Yeah, so I got to spend uh, some time getting caught up on those, which I will. Um, and then, let's see, I need to squeeze in some dinner <laughs> between uh, now, which it's going on 12.30 and before four o'clock, because at four o'clock, that is when we go live for the Sue Spezio Show. Uh, so I do need to get my dinner done, um, before then. Um, so yeah, so a lot to do in the next, I'm going to say three hours. So a lot to do in the next three hours, but I will be getting all that stuff done. Um, yeah, so I will see you again, unless something major happens between now and the end of the sale. I will see you again, probably after um, after the evening sale. All right. Well, it is about 10 o'clock at night and we have wrapped up the Sue Spezio show. Um, uh, yes. And Sue was feeling well enough to come and join us for a few minutes. So that was fantastic. I'm glad she's feeling better. And, um, yeah, yeah. So really, really good update on that. Um, but Angie from Angie's oddities joined Aaron and myself for the sale. Um, we had a lot of fun. 
Um, still had some really, really good conversations, so that was great. Um, let's see. So for the sale, oh, wait, before I get going on the sale, yes, we did the races, and let me tell you who the winners were. <laughs> Winners were some repeat winners from last week. I don't know how that happened, but um, Jan, Antiques from Karen, yeah, she won again. I did not rig that. <laughs> I don't have much control over. I have everybody copied into a list. The list goes on there. You guys give me a number to shuffle. I shuffle them and the race goes on. So I don't really have a lot of control over who does what. Uh, but congratulations to Jan, Antiques from Karen. And she will be joining Erin, myself. We'll see if Sue uh, is able to join us or not. But she'll be joining us next Friday night. So that's going to be great. Uh, Tracy Morgan. Not only did she win one race... She won two races. Two. My goodness, Tracy. That is so awesome. And the last winner, Cindy B. So yeah, Cindy B, the winner. So congrats to all the winners. All right. So for the sale, we brought 15 items. I had one that was choice. So that counted as two items. So that brought my total up to 16 items. I sold eight. Eight are still available. So yes, this is the buy it now portion of the um, evening sale. And let's go ahead and go over the items that are still available. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, have some snacks, Joe. Have some snacks. Um, what a knucklehead. All right. Um, let's see. Let me flip this around here. Nope. Go flipping it around. All right. So we are going to start with Mary Inglebright crafts to decorate your home. This is a nice spiral binder. And it's got all kinds of crafts for around the house. Plus, you can see really detailed instructions. Plus, if you need um, a template, all the templates are in here. And you can see that ideas for outside the house, inside the house, all Mary Englebright. Plus, you get all of these wonderful, cute graphics and teacups yep <laughs> uh, that book is six dollars um let's see okay i'm gonna go down my list here which means i'm gonna jump up here to the plates i have two 1924 calendar plates so the calendar portion is that little bit on the top there but both of these 1924 and they were made in um, East Liverpool Ohio now this one has fruit and this one has like a dog um, like a dog hunting scene unfortunately yes there is a scratch down the dog the plates are about nine inches, but hey, they're a hundred years old. I think they're looking pretty fantastic. Uh, they are $5 each. So $5 each for the fruit and for the dog hunting. And there are some ducks right there also. All right, then we're going to go to the family Bible. Now, this is from approximately the 1870s, I believe. The top portion here has come off completely. Can that be repaired? Well, that is a good question. Uh, on the front here, it says the 
word of the Lord endureth forever. This is, um, I believe this is leather. The pattern is embossed. And um, there's brass all along the edge. On the inside, this is actually in beautiful condition. There is gold on the pages on the outside. There are beautiful, very vibrant color graphics in here, beautiful pictures. And I mean, the colors are so beautiful throughout. Uh, this is the self-interpreting family Bible illustrated containing the Old and New Testaments. Um, there is a foreword by Reverend John Brown. And um, this is by Edward Slater Connolly via Leeds. And so this whole first section is, um, I believe, by um, Reverend Brown, or at least maybe this part is, but it does go a lot, a lot of the first part of here until you get to about here. Oh, and then we have a map. And then here we go. Brown's Self-Interpreting Family Bible contains the Old and New Testament. And there are numerous illustrations. You see, there's one right there. And then it does have a separate page that sits on top of there. But I mean, look at those beautiful colors. It's just, it's fantastic. This Bible is in such good condition, um, except for the outside. Now the outside is a little rough. Here's another page. I'll show you that one. Oh, the illustrations are so good. Um, but this does have a lot of pages. And yes, it does have some weight to it. However, this will ship media mail, so it will be a lot cheaper. Uh, this is $65. Now, I'm going, I'm going to shut this off real quick, and I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to show you the back of this. All right, so I have flipped the Bible over. Here is the back side. It does have some wear also. Uh, the binding is definitely starting to come apart. Um, it is also lined in brass. And there was some hardware right here, which is no longer there. Uh, this again, $65 for the Bible. Uh, next up, this is a really cute um, uh, framed piece by Susan Wheeler. Her name, I know that's really hard to see, trying to get it to focus. Her name is right there. And this is a 3D art by her. I know you can't quite see the 3D effect. This is so cute. Little bunnies getting hugs. I'm going to tilt this up and you'll be able to see the 3D effect. Ooh, maybe. Okay, focus. It is a really neat effect on this piece. And, oh gosh, I forgot to measure it. Uh, or I forgot to write down the measurements. I think it was like 10 and a half by 8 and a half. I believe that was the measurement. Um, and again, the artist is Susan Wheeler, and this is $30. Okay, I'm going to move that. 
And then this one was 17 by eight and a half. And I had to do a closer look. Now I thought that this was a reprint of like an original uh, piece of art. Um, but thanks for a more in-depth question from the chat. We took a much closer look at this. This is by Sandra Lee, um, oh, what is it? Ra, Ray, he, Ray, Ray, ha. Oh, I didn't even write down her last name. Um, information here on the back here. Yes, R-E-H-A. So she is a local Washington State artist. And after reading the back, I realized she, her medium is photography. Now, this does not have any glass in the front of it. So you're right with the mat. And getting in here for a much closer look, I did realize that this is a photograph. Now, I thought that it was, yeah, like a watercolor and um, and then that she had printed out the three panels, connected them in this nice mat. No, though, on closer look, these are um, photographs of irises, which are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so there you go. It's called Sisters of Life is the name that she put on there. And this is $16. And that again is 17 by eight and a half inches. And then I've got a couple more books. Uh, this one, Making Decorative Fabric Covered Boxes. And, oh yeah, and you get the bonus for cardboard um, pieces. Now, this has a lot of the traditional um, boxes, but when you get towards the back section, that's when things really get interesting. And so you can see that you have a box that has some drawers in it. You have that wonderful little like um, sewing notion box. This one has more shelves in it. And that is shell shaped. And, oops, can I get to the... So again, more interesting shapes as you get towards the back, which I think are really cool. Look at that one. Oh, it's so good. I didn't even get a chance to show that one during the sale. This one I showed during the sale. So it's like a little doll, um, doll clothes box. And then there was, and there it is all closed up. Oh, it's gorgeous. Nope, I didn't even show the little teapot. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, and then this jewelry box was the other one I found. Isn't that fantastic? So really, really cool boxes in here. And that one is a $5. And then we have knitted gifts. This is a $4 book. And really fun things in here. Um, scarves. And oh, the alphabet blocks. Isn't that fun? Little alphabet blocks. Little kids sweaters. Oh, I loved the little ballet shoes. Uh, gloves and scarves and hats, which you kind of expect. Some baby items. Um, little catnip toys for cats. Um, oh, I loved this hat. That was a nice one. And then there is um, 
Oh yeah, the little the little baby bunting. So cute. So this book again, four dollars for all the little fun things to knit. And yeah, I liked these too. The um oh there it is. The felted oven mitts. Really fun. Um, all right, so those were the eight items that were uh, still available. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the eight items that sold. Um, I had playing cards, Pirates of the Caribbean, and the Three Stooges. I had a couple of um, pictures uh, two young girls, not the same girl. I almost thought they were, but this one has very light colored eyes and she definitely has darker colored eyes. Maybe cousins. Uh, this fun adult coloring book that is full of really fun, beautiful images. There were a couple that were partially colored in. Um, but absolutely lovely graphics on this one. Uh, the fairy book, Fairyopolis. And this is a, let me open this up, a Cicely Mary Barker book. And it's got all kinds of pieces in here and little things to lift up. Really, really neat book. And a Treasure Island. Really great graphics on this one. It is from the 80s, but it's definitely done with the graphics of the older style. And then, oh, I love a good cupcake book. The Big Book of Cupcakes by Betty Crocker. And man, the pictures alone, yum. That is so awesome. And let me see if I can find it again, or maybe I already passed it. There's one that looks like a hamburger. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. See all the Halloween, 4th of July, St. Patty's, Valentine, oh, New Year's. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Wait, let's see if I can find it again. I think it's right in this section. Maybe not. But there are so many cute cupcakes in here. And the sugar cones. Oh, I love that. So yeah, that was super fun. Nope, must have already passed it. But what a great cupcake book. Betty Crocker. All right, let me flip. Okay, that is going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, the sold items, yep, I'm going to take those upstairs. The still available items, well, I'll keep them down here as people watch the sale overnight, as you guys watch this video on Saturday. If you find something you're interested in purchasing, have more questions on, feel free to leave a comment. Um, or you can send me an email also. All right, that is going to do it for Friday. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Saturday for my late night sale.